Hi, this is Mike at Farming Smarter. We're here at our uh, irrigation pivot and uh, we're just looking at the seeding rate trial right now. We've got some really neat things going on behind me. Uh, first set of plots, the first series of plots here is our, is our seeding rates and the, and the one directly behind me is seeded with a precision planter on 12 inch spacing. Uh, this particular plot's 20 seeds per meter squared and you can see there's a, a lot of branching to, to each plant. Uh, still a little bit in flower and as we increase our seeding rate, 40, 60, 80 seeds and 160 seeds per meter squared, you can see the gradient as, uh, as the seeding rate goes up. You can see how much faster the, they finish flowering. And uh, you can see the plant architecture too, just kind of a one big solid main stem with maybe a few auxiliary stems. Uh, these plants are, are branched pretty extensively. Um, but uh, pretty nice conditions behind us under this pivot, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what, which yields the best here this year. We're back again at the Precision Canola Plots. This time we're looking at the Liquid Foss trial. And what I did on the 12-inch uh, spacing was, just as an example, pulled up a couple different plants from each of the plots. So this first plant I have here, all seeded at 100 seeds per meter squared. This is what our canola looks like right now when we have zero foss added. We're generally in a pretty deficient area and you can see there's pretty much one main stem and a couple branches coming out. So doesn't look too great. I walked over to our 20 kgs per hectare of actual P205 and this is the first plant that I grabbed out. So you can see we've got uh, definitely a really nice fertilizer response. Even on the, the 12 inch spacing in this case, we didn't see much of a, a toxicity effect, uh, which we were thinking could be possible, especially as our, our row spacing gets wider, the, the fertilizer gets more concentrated. But under the irrigation this year, it looks like this is probably the best looking plot. However, when I compare it to our, our 60 kgs per hectare, you can see that it actually isn't quite as nice looking. And in this case, we probably did get uh, kind of the max of that curve. So as we hit too much uh, phosphorus fertilizer with the, with the seed, we're, we're starting to see some, uh, some negative consequences here. So that's exactly what we were hoping to see and it'll be exciting to see what happens with the yield results here. See you again in a few weeks time, give you an update on uh, how things come out at harvest.